thing wobbing. What is up guys? It's Dizzle. Got another formation guide. I call this the Makos formation or Makos build, however you want to prefer it. I'm going to start with the first person in front and kind of go backwards, explain what they do, how this build works, the pros and cons, and why this is actually a pretty good build if you have good items for those certain characters. If you don't, it's not going to be fairly weak. You're not going to be able to push that high in levels. But if you do have good gear, it's an outstanding build. So first off, we'll st start with Tyrael. He's the Druid. I use him as a tank. He has a lot of bonus upgrades to all champions. This is why I like him. And he's extremely beefy in his ultimate. Uh, Tyrael leaps to random enemy biting them with the huge his huge jaws gaining a percent of of the damage done as a damage shield that slowly fades over time. This shield lasts for at least twenty to thirty seconds, guys. Very, very durable shield. Um so whenever the bosses are chunking your tank, you just pop that and he's he's living for another twenty or thirty seconds. Next up we have uh Naley. Uh Naley is kind of your buffer as uh, she buffs the back row right here which I'll, I'll show you here in a second war of courage increases the base damage champions in the column behind melee by 9.02 k percent so everyone in this row right here we got celeste right here what she'll do is she'll heal the tank as you see those healing and then she'll buff your two damage dealers i normally have two damage dealers i, I don't focus on one certain person so I like to have two. Then we'll start. Oh, and also she has um, a buff as well called Crusader's Mantle. Increase the base damage of champions next to Celeste by 4.80k percent. So uh, anyone that's buyer. So as you can see, Tiro's in front, Archon's next, and Makos. Then we got Brunor. Brunor, he has Rally. Um, Rally increases the base damage of champions in the same column as Brunor by 9.00k percent. So anyone in, that is in the same row as Brunor gets buffed by a crap ton. So a lot of extra damage. Then we have Archon. Archon is the last champion you get. He's extremely, extremely expensive. And the reason why he works with this build is because of Ashra, which will see why he works with Ashra so well here in a second. He's extremely expensive. I would say this build is more based around Makos, but he is a, he can be a part of this build. Um, then we have Makos. And the reason why I call this the Makos formation or Makos build is because um, we're going off dark luck. When Makos lands the killing blow on an enemy they drop 500% more gold so whenever he kills someone you get 500% more gold so you have a lot more gold income coming in um, and what you're doing is if you see right here Celeste is buffing Magos we got the extra damage coming from Tyrael we got Anaeli buffing this backline which is also buffing Nakos or Makos sorry and Archon, and we got Brunor buffing them, so a lot of extra damage. And also, what we're gonna look at is Archon has 14 charisma, and Makos has 15 charisma. Now, why is that important? And that is because of our second lineup right here. We have Hitch. Hitch, he has uh, a buff called Friendly. Increase the base damage of champions by 3.37% of their charisma score is higher than 13. So, as you can see, Archon and Makos have a higher score than 13 on their charisma. So they get affected by that damage buff. So that's another damage buff. Then we got Kalanope. She has a ability called Bardic Inspiration. Increase to the base damage of champions in the column in front of Clonopy by 6.00k percent, while this row is in front of Clonopy, so they get buffed. 
all their damage gets buffed. Now, why does this build work? It's because of Ashura. Ashura is a very, very good character. And it's because of Bond. Increases the base damage of Tieflings, Firebolt, and, or Firebog, or Volg, however you want to pronounce it, and Dragonborn Champions by 751%. So, I like to have Ashura on the very back. He's just a very good spot for him. If I move him around, ah, the, the, my DPS went up for me doing that. So, you, you know, you never know what you can find out for DPS. So, the reason why this build is so good is because Makos is killing stuff. You're getting a tons and tons of more gold. Therefore, it adds to your Torm's favor percent. So, you're able to get more gold fighting percent. Uh, the pros of this, high single target damage. Tons and tons of high single target damage. Um, the second pro is tons of more gold. 500% extra gold for every kill Makos kills is a lot. Cons, um, a very weak cleave and AoE damage. So you don't have champions that run out and do a lot of AoE damage. Or cleave damage so mobs like this right here are stacking up that's because this is a very high single target damage build um, so when you're fighting bosses killing his adds is going to be kind of difficult you'll be able to do a lot more damage to the boss but his his pack of adds is going to stack up and do a lot so you have to have a really beefy tank um, let's see what else we have um, the build is really expensive, so you have to have a lot of percent gold find for this to, to work. Makos is extremely expensive champion. If you do not have a lot of percent gold find, it's gonna be you're gonna have a hard time with this build um, because you can see right here he's level 52, guys, and I have 6.34 million percent gold find. So, and I could only afford I could I could throw a few more levels since we've been talking. But like only I was only afford, able to afford six levels out of that whole time I was talking, so it's very expensive. Um, also, this build is very gear dependent. If you don't have good gear for Makos or uh, Archon, this does not work. Uh, it, you're gonna have a hard time with this build, um, considering all these champions that get affected by it is a late game kind of oriented build. Uh, Tyrael is also affected by it because he's a fireball uh, druid. So if you don't have very good gear, this build won't work. You're going to struggle with it. As you can see, my Makos does not have very good gear. So I, I can't push very far with this build. Um, let's see, what else? Um... I think that's pretty much about it as far as the cons go. If I missed any cons or pros, please throw it down in the comment section below. Please hit that like button or dislike button if you did like this guide or dislike the guide. And stay tuned for the next video, guys. Peace out.